people have a tendency not to recognize that the correct interpretation of Scripture is their interpretation. This has been something which has been on my heart and mind for quite some time because the 2020s are literally at our doorstep, the third decade of the 21st century. And today's Messianic movement is not at all prepared for what not only is coming, but will be thrust upon it in this next decade. I remember around 10 years ago, I was very optimistic about the 2010s, and I thought, this is going to be so wonderful. We're finally going to address all the issues which we have been avoiding. In my, in my experience, what I discovered was that when I brought up various topics, various things which mattered to me, to my generation, to my peers, I was effectively told to shut up. Don't talk about this. That doesn't matter to me. That doesn't matter to us. That doesn't matter to our ministry, our organization, you know, whatever the faith community was. I was told to be quiet. And because of some of this, whether we want to consciously recognize it or not, there is a huge generational gap in today's messianic movement. And it's not as though some of the younger people are trying to reject God, reject the ways of God, or uh, see the integrity of Holy Scripture watered down and compromised. But there are issues that matter to younger people because they are encountering them among their peers, they're asking questions, some of us have a theological education, which some of the older people don't have, and we have had to reason through things at a level which requires us to take another position. And so we may take another position not because of reading a different Bible, but because we've been forced to deal with Hebrew, Greek, history, uh, ancient positions, modern positions, this discussions in theology, and the evidence has directed us on another way. And I have encountered this far too frequently. Well, John, the scripture says, yes, but you're reading it in English. You're not going into original language issues. You're not going into history. You certainly aren't considering the three or four or five major positions out there in theology and having to reason through them and having to think through, well, which handles the evidence in the best way. And if we are not careful, we are going to find ourselves seeing young people leave the Messianic movement and go to a place where their spiritual needs will be met, where the religious culture is amenable to asking the tough questions and seeing the tough questions recognized. We can't prevent young people leaving because they want a light show or they want smoke and mirrors, and they, and they want some kind of performance. But we can prevent young people from leaving because, well, they asked a question that the leader told them to be quiet about. That has got to change. We have got to uh, facilitate a much more open and uh, discussion-focused Messianic culture, something that is much more Jewish than it's ever been before, where any question can be asked without fear of recrimination, a much more academically Protestant culture where God has given us minds, God has given us reason, we can read the Holy Scripture without the need for the Pope to interpret it, and we have to see fundamentalism quantitatively jettisoned, because if that doesn't happen, we are in severe danger of becoming extinct by the end of the 2020s. If we don't see fundamentalism removed from our midst as a messianic community, and rather than talking at one another, talking with one another, and recognizing the centrality of Yeshua, and also with some of these peripheral issues, yeah, there's going to be diversity. And we need to know, well, why is that the case? Why have you interpreted the data, the evidence this way, and I've interpreted another way? We have to see the fundamentalism eliminated. Otherwise, uh, we may not be around as a movement that much longer. And this is something that is very striking to me 
as I get older and I'm approaching my 40s and there are a lot of people in my age bracket who see issues the same way that I do but it's like we don't exist and we're not being heard and we are having accusations issued against us well you know you're compromising the scriptures you know that's not what the bible says when in fact we have gone into the scriptures at a much more deeper level with original language issues ancient historical issues and we're engaged with what theologians and examiners have been saying for quite some time and once again if we don't facilitate much more discussion among people well why do you believe that or tell me your experience of exploring that how much longer are we going to be around and ultimately how jewish is our faith community because in a jewish environment you can ask whatever question you want in an academic protestant environment you can ask whatever question you want these for some reason or another have not been virtues present in too much of today's broad messianic movement but they're going to have to be for our very survival moving ahead and so people don't feel like they're being dismissed they're being silenced or they're being censored